Mint syrup. Yeah, Mint syrup. Okay. Pre pre squeezed. Um, sugar. Water. Fresh mint. But you're really not drinking that much. <laughs> and for as little as he drinks, by the yeah. time you actually. Exactly. Right. So, and, and it's just. The, the mint oh, julep is more debated than any other like, cocktail. No. Mint in, mint out. Yeah. I, I, I didn't like yeah. it. Yeah. First kid? Yeah. Congratulations. Oh shit! <laughs> you still with me? <laughs> with you, oh man! man. I, I don't miss anything. A wonderful old, uh, old forest for '86 you proof. To, uh, night young. You need to. Um, you need to. I've already done that. Oh. We're drinking a little bit of Hank Allen right there. That's right. One. James Hank Allen, an honorary go. guest here this evening. We have two celebrity guests in the house. <laughs> Trevor Burnett, <sighs> Hank Allen. Yeah, the great classic Southern Jew. Yeah, never back for Ceremonial more than Who knows what any of the other drink yeah. debated as to the manner of building it. Sugar, water, ice, oh, garnishes. Does it belong to Kentucky? Does it belong to Virginia? New Orleans has its own call. Crushed ice, shaved ice. What role does brandy play in the drink? One thing is That's for certain. One. Nice. Yeah. Hard to find people there. Right? It has always been more than just bourbon and crushed ice and sugar and mint. And it's interesting that the most popular version today is just that. It got to the point where you are so lucky to have it on that once women. Epicureans with the rub of a. Pineapple, which we will experience here today. The garnish of seasonal fruit, which we will use today. But one thing is for certain what this is is real and authentic. And whoever questions it, no concept of the history of the menu. Those are some bold words there, Mr. Cruz. Yeah, because that's reality. You ready? Yeah. Historical reality. Ah, look at that frosted. Now. It's a beauty. But they cheated Ah, yeah. That's correct. And one thing that they never did in the 19th century, that was scrimp. So, on the mint. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's not looking for their attention from that at all. I believe that's called spanking. Is that what you call it? Called spanking. All right. Just making sure we're going to do something. Through. I'm going to trust with this mint. There's nothing more on this mint than there is in that ice. But. For the sake of yeah, political correctness, we we'll rinse the mint. True. Because you don't want people thinking you got funky mint. Let them think what they want. Take out all the black spots. All the little holes. You want a good-looking piece of mint. That's the thing. Mojitos and juleps. They all. You know what? 
can't get you can't get a good one because people don't have good mint. You gotta have the fresh stuff and a good. Like you said the other day, you can't skimp. You can't skimp. You can't skimp on the mint. Be generous. Oh look at that! That's good. Because then there's the popular group. I'm like, well, is it the popular group? Yeah, it is. <laughs> You know, the people like me, you know, like Valen and all that. Because not that Valen's being mixed. Actually, I really do. If you, if you look his, historically speaking, this idea of a garnish on mint, on a mint julep, I mean, some, some recipes don't even call for, for mint to even be inside the glass. It's only on the outside.